excited to get um, ready for SEC play. I, I think we've had a successful non-conference uh, slate. Uh, the fact that we're able to get to 10 wins um, as a team already, um, when we didn't get to 10 wins until um, March of last season, uh, I think speaks well of uh, the progress that this team is making. But now we get a chance to uh, test ourselves against the best. Our first question is from Larry Vaught of the Danville Advocate Messenger. Yeah, good morning, Coach. Uh, I was just wondering, you so said you get your chance to test yourself against the best. Were you referring to Kentucky or just the SEC in general? Um, I'm, I'm referring to Kentucky and SEC. Okay. Well, could you just kind of give me your overall impressions of Kentucky then and, and, and what you think going into that game Wednesday? Well, it's obviously they're they're really talented ball club. Um, they've got a lot of individual talent. And I think they're starting to figure some things out as a team. Um, the thing that really concerns you about Kentucky is the way that they can draw fouls with their individual um, play. I think Randall is, is a complete handful, and you have to help out on him, but you also got to be able to help without fouling. Um, I, I think Andrew Harrison does a really good job of, of drawing contact with his physical drive. And I think the thing that goes um, – Without saying, well, I should say this, most people don't notice this, but I, I think Willie Cauley-Stein has really made strides as a basketball player. It looks like he, he's had a year of strength and development. He's really moving well um, as far as defensively. He's able to switch ball screens. He affects shots at the rim. He's doing a lot of good things. I, I just think his on-the-ball activity and his ability to block shots off the ball it has been really good. Thank you. Next question is from Jerry Tipton of the Lexington Herald Leader. Rick, you touched on this, but, but uh, can you uh, elaborate on, on the improvements you think Mississippi State has made from year one to year two? Yeah, I think first and foremost, you, you talk about maturity. Um, our guys got a lot of experience last year, and, and probably experience they 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 wouldn't have gotten on the other team. And if we had a veteran team, probably didn't deserve most of those minutes that they got. Um, but uh, that was the one advantage of having a young and inexperienced team is we had guys that were able to play a lot of minutes as freshmen or as first-year players. That includes even our junior college players. Um, so I just think from a year of maturation and experience, they've gotten better. Uh, I think the one thing that uh, we've really gotten better at is just offensively. We're still not a great offensive team, but we figured out um, what is our lot in our life and what our role is. Uh, so we don't take as many bad shots as we did last year, um, and I don't think we take as many contested shots as we did last year. Um, so we're still not able to shoot the basketball the way we want to be able to shoot the basketball, um, but I don't think we take bad shots. And I think when you take a bad shot, it's the same thing as a turnover, and so it really hurts your defense. And, and just uh, as a follow-up, what is your uh, lot in life, quote-unquote, as a well, team? <laughs> well, I think it's different for each individual. Um, but uh, I think the biggest thing is our guys are starting to accept what their roles are. I think it's always hard when any young man steps on the scene in college basketball. He wants to be that star that he was in high school, and sometimes that just doesn't translate. Um, but I think our guys have done a really good job of accepting who they are and what their roles are and not fighting that, and it's really helped for the betterment of our team. Next 